morning guys, happy Sunday. It's about 7 a.m., just like yesterday, and I pretty much have the same day going on today as I did yesterday. I'm going to the gym, I have a bunch of editing to do, I have a bunch of housework to do, I have orders to work on, and I think that's pretty much it. So, it's going to be a good day, but probably a little bit repetitive. You guys are probably, um... In case you guys haven't figured out by now, I kind of do the same things every day. I have to wash the sheets today. That's new. Exciting, right? Um, but yeah, it's about 7 a.m. September 11th, which of course is a sad anniversary for us here in the United States. So, um, I spent some time this morning thinking about that tragedy, which is always hard. Um, this day is really hard because... You know, everybody posts on social media all the memories and the videos, and it's kind of heartbreaking still to this day. I was reading something that said that this is the first year that teachers in school will be teaching about September 11th um, as part of history because um, people that are um, there are people in school now that were not alive when that happened, which is crazy. It doesn't seem like it's been that long. I still remember that day like it was yesterday. Anyway, I don't want to bring down the whole vlog, but, you know, thinking about that this morning. But I'm not going to let it take over the whole day. Um, I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee here in a moment, and some more avocado toast, because I enjoyed the hell out of that yesterday. And then I need to get moving on the editing and whatnot, so... Figure if I get that done early enough and I get to the gym early enough, I can come home and shower and put myself together and looking decent for some videos that I want to film today. Um, I haven't put on makeup in ages. Um, you guys always see this face and that's fine, you know. I'm confident in myself, but it's nice to kind of get a little fancy sometimes. So I think I'm going to try to do that today, depending on how the day goes. Uh, I need to film my step into tracking announcement that I am involved in that. If you guys are not familiar, it is a challenge that is sort of hosted by M. Wilson Fit Fam here on YouTube who makes amazing videos and is so beautiful. Like one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, and it's all about um, challenging yourself to uh, put in more steps and drink plenty of water and track everything. It's all of the things that I've been kind of doing this week. I'm really focusing on, so um, it's just like an official capacity, so I'm really excited about that. So, I just said so like 10 times. I'm gonna go and make that coffee now. So, I'll check out with you guys later. You guys, this is like the third day in a row that I've been to Walmart. I know, I need have a problem. I need to be stopped. Um, I had no intentions of coming here today, but I pulled into the gym this morning and realized that my Fitbit battery um, is dying. So I don't want it to die on me in the middle of my workout today, so I needed to run to Walmart to go grab a battery. While I'm here, I'm probably going to grab another avocado since I've been so obsessed with avocado toast lately. Um, and that's that's all I need to go in there for, so it's going to be a quick trip. But yeah, third day in a row I've been to Walmart. I need a life, seriously. Okay, you guys, so I am here at Planet Fitness, parked way out again for the extra steps, and I went to go change the battery on my Fitbit, and I realized that I don't know that I'm going to be able to get this thing open. <laughs> they make this packaging, like, next to impossible to get into, so I'm going to see if I can't get it open, and if I can't, I might just take it in there and see if they have some kind of scissor or something that I can use to get these open, so hopefully I can make it work one way or another and I can get my workout out. Alright, mission accomplished. My husband had a pocket knife in the car, so I'm all set now and ready to go into the gym. Okay guys, so since we last spoke, I have uh, changed up my appearance a little bit. I did exactly what I said I was going to do. I came home from the gym. Um, I did a few things around the house. I had already put a pork loin in the crock pot earlier on this morning. I didn't show that to you. I'll show it to you guys later. Um, but when I came home, I made up the coleslaw to go with that for tonight. So tonight's dinner is done. I bought a bag of potato chips to go with. So it's like done, set. All I have to do is wait for it to finish, add the barbecue sauce, mix it all together and be done. Um, I got the laundry going. I'm washing sheets and stuff today. So I put the boys bedding and stuff in the wash, tidied up a little bit, 
got in the shower because Lord knows I needed it. And then uh, took a few minutes just to pamper myself, put on some makeup, make me look halfway decent. I'm wearing contacts. You know, I wanted to look nice for the introduction for um, the Step Into Tracking video. Just, I don't know, because I feel like it sets a good precedent, uh, sets me up for success. I, I don't know. I just felt like playing with makeup today. So I did that. Um, and then I filmed my video, which I need to now go and edit. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I need to have lunch. I have not yet had lunch. Austin has his friend over. They're having like a little video game battle or something in there in Austin and Robbie's bedroom so that's going on uh Robbie is just kind of hanging out with them I think um he's he's friends with the little boy that comes over to hang out with Austin too um he the the little boy is kind of like halfway between Austin's age and Robbie's age so they have a good time together so they're just kind of playing getting along relatively well I hear screaming coming from that direction every once in a while but no one's come to me crying yet which is the good news so I'm going to go ahead and have some lunch. I'm going to edit that video and get that posted. I'm so excited about it. And um, finish up my bedding. And then I have orders to work on. So, uh, yeah. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Show you how it's going. Okay, guys. Well, I'm really sorry it's been so long since I checked in. I just kind of got busy marking things off the old to-do list. Um, working on laundry. I got my sheets all washed and my bed remade um i didn't bother to make it pretty or put the decorative pillows on it because we're just going to crawl into bed in a few hours anyway but that's done the last load of laundry is in the dryer now so i did made good progress there tidied up the house we had dinner it was delicious i forgot to even show it to you guys but if you watch my what i ate blogs you'll be able to see it it was pulled pork um and homemade coleslaw and it was delicious so now I have some orders that I need to work on for my Etsy shop. Um, that's really like the last thing on my to-do list here. You can see I've been marking things down um, and also kind of getting things ready for next week. You guys may have seen this spread earlier in a little sneak peek, but looking at it, I'm sort of realizing that I did not set this up properly for my step into tracking challenge. I didn't put in a hydrate sticker. I didn't leave room to write in my points and everything for the day. So I don't really know what I'm going to do. Like, clearly I can't pull up these stickers. Um, so I may just have to add in some kind of insert or something to keep track of things until the following week when I can do it upright. I have some stickers that I'm going to be designing that I'm going to stick down here that are going to have um, a space to write in my steps, the number of points I ate for the day, and it's going to have a little hydrate sticker for the daily um, as well. So that'll be really nice, but until then I'm just going to kind of have to make this work. It's a really beautiful spread, it's just that I wasn't thinking about the challenge when I set it up. So. That's okay, I'll figure it out. I'll make something happen. Um, anyway, I'm gonna work on some orders now. Um, I have a custom order for Jesse that I need to finish up. And that's Weight Watchers with Jesse, if you guys aren't familiar. And I have another order from a, one of my subscribers, so that's awesome that I need to work on. Both of those orders will go to the post office tomorrow then. Um, once I finish up the orders, I'm pretty much done for the weekend. I gotta make sure that the kids get showered and dressed into their pajamas and figure out what they're gonna wear for school tomorrow and whatnot you know kind of back to school things but other than that I don't have anything else planned I can just kind of chill which is nice so this day has gone by really slowly and I actually really relish those days because time moves so fast like I don't know if you guys do this but you ever sit and just marvel at the fact that holy cow it's already September like, how did that happen? Weren't we just celebrating the new year? Like, time has been moving so fast. The older I get, the faster it gets. So, on a day when things kind of drag and the day goes by slow, I'm like, yes. I'm going to enjoy every second of it because time is fleeting and it'll be over before you know it, this life. So, I'm going to enjoy it while I can. So, I've got a few more hours left until I can sleep. So, I'm going to make good use of them and work on these orders. And I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I just had the most wonderful bubble bath. It was so nice and relaxing. I just laid there in the dark in the nice hot water and just spent like half an hour just relaxing. It was lovely. And now I'm continuing the relaxing with a cup of tea. This is sleepy time tea with a decaf green tea and it's blackberry pomegranate flavor. 
Sorry, I wasn't looking at you guys. I was looking at the box here so I could tell you exactly what it is. I love this tea. It's probably um, my favorite of the like herbal tea, sleepy time tea variety. I love green tea. Um, I'm not a big fan of herbal tea in general. I always try it um, and I never like it. Like I have tried about a zillion herbal teas and have never really been a big fan, but um, anyway, that's going to do it for the vlog today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, leave me some comments down below. Let me know how you spent your weekend. I'd love to hear from you. Tomorrow's Monday. So back to the grind. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.